Hi everyone, I'm Sehet Sani, product manager at Snowflake. Are you interested in seeing Snowflake's unparalleled cross-cloud replication in action? In today's video, I'll show you how to configure failover groups, redirect client connections, and failover and failback across cloud providers. Let's dive in. In this demo, we will take a look at replication and failover across clouds. I'm connected to Snowflake here through app.snowflake.com. And for this demo, let's pretend that I'm an admin at a global fictional retailer called Style Me Up. And we can see here that Style Me Up has several Snowflake accounts across Asia, Europe, North America, and Oceania. And here I'm connected to this account called North America West in AWS in the US West region. So let's explore what this account contains. Here we can see under the databases tab that we have several critical data sets like global sales, inventory, loyalty, information about our stores. And if I go to compute, I can also see that I have a bunch of compute warehouses for different business units like my finance team, IT, as well as for different workloads like ETL and model training. I can also see which users at Style Me Up have access to this account. So you can see we have about 42 users across Style Me Up who use this account. And they use a variety of roles to access data. Now, these roles contain built in Snowflake roles like account admin or org admin, but also custom roles that we've created to mirror our organization roles and responsibilities. For example, data analyst is a role that we've created and have granted to other roles as well as to other users. And I can click here to find out which users have data analyst role. And for example, here, Jenna is an analyst on my team who builds dashboards. And she's built this global sales dashboard that employees around the world rely on to take a look at the latest sales data. And as you can see on this dashboard, it's powered by Snowflake account North America West in the AWS US West region. So now that we've taken a look at what this account contains, critical data sets, as well as critical applications and dashboards that rely on this data, as an admin, I wanna ensure resilience for this Snowflake account, both for the data and for the applications, and make sure that in case of an outage or natural disaster in the US West region, I can seamlessly fail over to a different location. To do so, I've set up another Snowflake account called North America East. And this account is not only in another region, but another cloud. It's in Microsoft Azure in the East US region. So now let's take a look at what this account contains. And because this is a new account, you can see that I don't have any databases here besides the built-in Snowflake database. As well as uh, I, if I go to compute and I look at warehouses, you will see I don't have any warehouses, no resource monitors. The only users who have access to this are the built-in Snowflake user and Sahaj, who's the account admin who created this account. And if I go to roles, you'll see that I only have the built-in Snowflake roles, but none of my custom roles. So this account is a blank account. And what I really wanna do as an admin is make sure I can replicate all of my account contents from AWS US West into this account in Azure East US and make sure that it's synchronized consistently so that in the event of a failover, I, I minimize any data loss. I also wanna make sure that my dashboards and my applications are resilient to any outages. So I also wanna make sure that the connection I'm using to these accounts can be failed over seamlessly across AWS US West and Azure East US. So now let's go back to our account in AWS US West and let's set up account replication and client redirect to ensure that resilience. So first let's take a look at how to set up client redirect. To do that, all I need to do is create a connection and give it a name. In this case, I'm calling it North America and enable failover of this connection to my account in North America East. When I do that, behind the scenes, Snowflake generates a new connection URL 
that can be failed over across AWS US West and Azure East US. I can verify that by looking at my connections. And you can see here that in the AWS US West region, in the North America West account, I have this connection North America. It's currently the primary. And if I scroll over, it'll show me the connection URL, styleMeUp-NorthAmerica.SnowflakeComputing.com. Now I can start using this URL in all my applications and my dashboards to make sure that these, these applications can seamlessly fail over in the event of an outage. So if I go back to my global sales dashboard and I look at the data source configuration, I wanna ensure that I'm using the right URL. And you can see that I have the connection style me up dash North America dot snowflakecomputing.com, which means this dashboard should be resilient to an outage and should fail over seamlessly. All right, so now let's go back and set up account replication. To set up account replication, I wanna create a failover group where I will specify what to replicate, where to replicate it to, and how often. In this case, I'm saying I wanna replicate all my users, roles, warehouses, resource monitors, and a set of critical databases. And failover groups provide this flexibility where I can choose which databases to replicate. In the simple case, I can say all databases, but in this specific case, I'm choosing certain databases like global sales, inventory, loyalty, payroll, stores, and suppliers, because these are the critical data sets and I wanna minimize my costs and focus only on these. Next, I've specified which account to replicate to, and this is the North America East account. And finally, the replication schedule of 10 minutes, because I wanna align with the recovery point objective at style me up and minimize my data loss to at most 10 minutes. Now I've already created this failover group and I can verify that with the show command. And you can see that in the AWS US West region in this North America West account, I have this failover group. And I can also see which object types are included in this failover group. And the fact that this failover group can be failed over to North America East. All right, so now let's jump to our account, North America East, and finish this setup. So if I open the worksheet here, now I can finish the steps for setting up client redirect and account replication. So first, I'll look at my connections and I'll see the connection that has been set up in AWS US West. And what I can do is, scroll over and copy the value of this primary. And what I wanna do next is create a replica of this primary connection. And once I do that, I can make sure that now I have two connections, one in AWS US West and the other in Azure East US. And currently the one in AWS US West is primary, which means any dashboard that's using this connection URL is currently pointing to AWS US West. Next, I wanna set up a replica for my failover group. So similarly, I'll run the command show failover groups and I'll copy the value of the current primary and I'll use that to create a replica. And once I do that, I can run show failover groups again and I can see that now I have two groups, one in AWS and the other one in Azure. And currently the one in AWS is the primary. Now, once I've done that, I can kick off replication of the contents of my failover group uh, so that all my users, roles, warehouses, resource monitors, databases can start getting replicated. Now, this takes about a minute to run. So in the meantime, what I wanna do is jump back to my account in AWS US West. And I just wanna run a quick query on my global sales data. And the reason I'm gonna do this is I wanna compare results of this query first on my AWS US West account and then on Azure East US to make sure the results match and verify that replication worked as expected. So let's go ahead and run this query. This query looks at the revenue in the last day across different countries. And as you can see here, the top three countries by revenue are India, the US and Algeria. 
I can jump back to my account in Azure U East US, and I can see that the replication finished. So if I refresh the list of databases here, I should see all the databases show up, which they do. And now I can actually run the same query on Azure East US and verify that the results match. And now also what's really cool is I can use a warehouse. Previously, I didn't have any warehouses in this account, but now because replication finished, I technically should be able to use a warehouse. And that statement worked. And now if I execute this query, I should see the same exact results as I saw on AWS US West. And yes, you can see here that India, US and Algeria are the top countries by revenue. So the results match. Another really cool thing about account replication is we make sure that the secondary is read only. So you cannot do any updates and accidentally modify data. Let's just verify that. So let's try to update the global sales database on Azure East US. And you can see that this fails because the secondary is read only. Awesome. So now that we verified that, let's also go into the account and verify that besides the data sets, we can also see other objects show up. So if I go to warehouses and I refresh the UI, I should be able to see that I have all my warehouses now replicated here. I should be able to see that all my users are also replicated and so are my roles. And I can double check that Jenna is also granted the data analyst role in this account. So if I scroll down here, I can see that. So now what we've done so far is we've been able to replicate all my users, roles, warehouses, resource monitors, databases, as well as all the privileges. So I have the exact same role-based access control on my account in Azure East US as I do on AWS US West. And replication is working at a schedule of every 10 minutes to keep things synchronized. So now that's great. I'm very confident that I have redundancy for my account and my client connections. Now let's see what happens if there's a failure. Let's pretend that there's an outage in US West. And what we wanna do now is fail over both the account and the client connections to Azure East US. So if I go back to my worksheet in Azure East US, let me scroll down here. And what I wanna do now is fail over my connections, like my dashboards and applications to start running on Azure East US, as well as my failover group. So that's just two simple commands. So the first thing I'll execute here is alter connection North America primary. And I can verify when I run show connections that Azure East US is now the current primary. Similarly, I'll do a failover of the failover group. And if I run show failover groups, I can double check that Azure East US is now the primary. Now let's confirm that I can now make modifications to data in Azure East US and that it is indeed a primary read write account. So when I run this query, it should succeed. And as you can see, 581 rows were updated, which means my writes were successful and Azure East US is truly the primary. I can also go to my dashboard now. And what I wanna do here is refresh this dashboard and make sure that the Snowflake region is now Azure East US instead of AWS US West. So if I run that refresh, this will take a few seconds. And if I click update now, as you can see, now the current region is Azure East US. And if I go back to my dashboard here, just refresh visual, it should show that now it's pointing to Azure East US too and the North America East account. So in summary, what we were able to do was to start with my account in AWS US West, where I had a bunch of critical data sets, my users, my roles, and my warehouses, and replicate that over to a blank new account in Azure East US 2. And then once we had replicated that, verify that the data sets actually 
match and the query results were consistent and that I, I couldn't accidentally modify a secondary account. Once that was done, we pretended that there was an outage in AWS US West. And so we failed over our account and our client connections to Azure East US with two simple commands. And then we were able to verify that now I can write data into this new primary account and that my dashboards and reports now point to this new primary. So that sums up the demo of cross-cloud account replication and failover. We're really excited about Snowflake's ability to support continuous global operations across cloud providers. Which features are you most interested in? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when we put out a video. For more information, go to signup.snowflake.com. Thanks so much for watching.